YouTube. Hello, this is Chris Anthavon. And this is Amaya's Grandma 2008. As you can see now, I'm in the black and gray room. This is my bedroom. See, I have my little um, chandelier stickers on the wall. And I just made up my bed, so this is my little display on the bed. Anyway, okay. So this is another thought of the week. This week, a lot of stuff has been going on in Atlanta. The number one thing is this guy, Joseph Smith, who is 32 years old. I'll put the picture up probably right here. He's 32 years old and he killed three people in one day, raped another woman earlier in the week and already had a warrant out for his arrest. Look, my ring finally broke in half. It's, it used to be all one piece, but now I have to go get somebody to solder the back back together for the two pieces. Anyway, it's kind of irritating. And if you hear noise in the background, that's Kevin and Mikhail from the Scorpion Show because I'm watching them listening to the rest of the show. Anyway, so he raped one woman earlier in the week. And he killed another woman who he was supposedly, he was um, engaged to marry her. And this woman lived in such a nice place. Sometimes I'm often wondering when men look like they're bums, first of all, he obviously had no job because the woman that he raped, he was, that was his ex-girlfriend, and he was coming over to her house to ask her for money. So what does that tell you? That he was an idiot. Anyway, so he killed the 36-year-old lady. Her name was Sh Sh Shakia or Shaki, something like that, Griffin. She was 36 years old, and she had a 12-year-old daughter who was a honor roll student, an honor roll student, and she was only 12, and he killed the girl. What, why did he kill the girl? I don't know. We don't know. And then this is the biggest shocker, because now it affects me. He killed another lady named Lovett Wallace. She was also 36. Now, this woman <laughs> was checked into the Wellesley Hotel. You guys all know I don't drive over the road anymore because, once again, because my husband is sick now, I have to take him to dialysis three days a week, so I don't drive over the road anymore, so I can't make money. I make high school money. So while I'm making high school money, I'm driving a shuttle bus, not a big 45-footer like I'm used to driving 55 passengers been going 10 days a week. I mean, yeah, 10 days a month or 20 days a month or 30 days uh, making good money where I can make at least $1,500 a week. I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm driving a little shuttle bus, making high school money. I do this hotel where this fool killed this woman. I go to work in the morning on Saturday. It's fine. Go to work on Sunday morning, last Saturday, Sunday, this Sunday that just passed. Wow, I do all my rounds when I'm doing my round about 10 o'clock in the morning. There's four police cars there. I'm not knowing that all this other stuff has just happened. Nobody's saying anything in the hotel, so I didn't pull into the hotel. I pulled to the hotel across the street, and I called and told them to call across the street. And the guy at the desk named Andrew, he says, no, you know, I'm okay. So I'm saying, oh, okay, okay. Andrew's okay. He said something just happened. Nobody would say anything. So in the end, by just like people saying things, I'm thinking a man got killed, but in the end it was this woman. Her name is Lovett Wallace. She got killed. So now Monday comes, and the guy who works, I go to work from 4 o'clock in the morning. The guy who works from 11 to 7 is telling me, wow, you know, he's like it affected him because he had checked the woman in on Saturday. And that she was really nice and she was so happy because it was her birthday and she said she just wanted to be somewhere, you know, by herself and enjoy her birthday, you know, wow. And then this man goes in there and strangles her to death. 
And so she's in the bed strangled. And when the people come to clean the room, then they find her in the bed. They thinking that she's asleep. She's not asleep. She's dead. Her name was Love It Wallace. And now the backstory of the whole thing too is that her whole family is talking about this guy, Joseph Smith, was such a nice guy. And the lady Sh Shatia, Sh Shakita, whatever her name, Griffin, lived in a very nice neighborhood, very nice house. And he, oh, that's the other thing, the guy barricaded himself in the house with the two dead people for eight hours before he gave himself up to the police. He's supposed to go to court in like two weeks. I hope that they give him the death penalty. I really believe that when people kill these people, I have no sympathy for them. So I really believe they should just really and truly, after they say you're convicted, take you in the back and put a bullet in your head. And just have a tomato patch or something out there and just throw all them out there to feed the plants. If you think that's wrong, then that's your opinion, but this is my opinion. Everybody has an asshole and an opinion, and I have both. Okay. So, the guy that worked at the front desk was saying, you know, it affected him because he checked the girl in, and she was just so happy that it was her birthday. Now, this idiot that works there, too, she, her, she comes in after us, after, the next day, Tuesday, Monday night, whatever, Tuesday morning. When I go to work, she works at the front desk. Do this. This is another idiot that works there at that hotel. She says, "Oh, I just don't feel comfortable. I feel da it's dangerous to work here." And so I had to explain to her, "Listen, dummy, what this fool did had nothing to do with you. This was an idiot. This was a crazy person. This was a murderer. He came in here. He murdered this girl in this hotel." And has nothing to do with the Wellesleyan, has nothing to do with the East Point, the city. It has nothing to do with Atlanta. It has nothing to do with Georgia. He's just a crazy ass motherfucker and he just killed somebody. So there's no reason for you to be sad. There's no reason for you to feel like he's going to come back. He's in jail. They're not going to let him out. And it's not like he put a sign up across the internet and told people that this is where you can come to come kill people. Because that's not what happened. So that's what happened. Um, on my thoughts for this week. The other thing that happened is there's a guy. His name is Samuel McCullough. He is charged with molesting a girl since she was eight years old. He's molested her for several years. The police have been looking for him since July and just now are telling everybody about him. He was a security guard at World Changers Church, which is Creflo Dollar's church. He was a security guard there. He's been on the run since July. So nobody's known that they've been looking for him. I'll put a picture of him up there also because he might not even be in Georgia. He might be in another, another whole together different state. He might have went down to Mexico for now, for all we know. And he is wanted for molesting a girl since she was eight years old. The last thing is in Gwinnett County, since they go by counties out here. County, this guy, I know this is a white guy. His name is Henry Ellis Lackey. Lakey, Lackey, Lakey. 59 years old, charged with child molestation and sodomy. The, the police only arrested him after the parents came to him. And they said they knew of some things that he had did before, but they had to wait for the parents to file a case against him before they could go and arrest him. He's in jail, and he's not he does not have a bond. Um, I don't know what's going on out here in Georgia, but there's just some crazy people out here in the world right now and people need to watch their children watch your kids watch her everything because these 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 are some very serious charges and these people are completely losing their mind 
I have such a bad headache. And I don't know why I have a bad headache, but I have such a bad headache. And I don't know why I've been having this headache since I woke up this morning. My life, as everybody knows, is really not all that great. My husband gets up under my fucking skin because he doesn't do what the hell I tell him to do. He don't do nothing you ask him to do. He don't keep the room clean. He don't keep his areas clean. He just fucks up everything. You have candy paper all over the floor. You have, like he have change. I'll give him something to put his change in. His change all over the desk. Instead of just putting it in the little change bin I give you. He don't want to clean up his bathroom. We have a bathroom, an ensuite, what they call it. When they put a bathroom in your room, now they call it a fucking ensuite. Anyway, we have an ensuite. He don't keep it clean. He keeps stuff all over it. You have to clean up every single week when I'm off on Thursday and Friday. I'm so bored with being off on Thursday now because I really and truly have nothing to do. On Thursdays, I have nothing to do on Fridays. I do go wash every Friday. Because I haven't saved the money up to buy a washing machine and dryer. But I do go wash every Friday. That gives me something to do for a couple of hours. Besides taking my husband to dialysis. But I just... These are just my thoughts. I don't know why I'm rambling, but... I do have this headache. It is very bad. And I know it's because I'm so stressed out because... I just get tired of being in my life right now. People don't understand. It's very disconcerting to be with someone who doesn't talk, who doesn't want to do anything but just pretend like I'm your mother more than your wife. All you want me for is to cook clean and um, to do everything for you. All you want to be able to do in your life is to eat clean, eat sleep and shit and that's not cool because you're not a baby you're 58 years old i know you only have 20 percent eyesight in one of your eyes and completely blind in the other i know that you have to go to dialysis three days a week i know you have high blood pressure and diabetes i know you have arthritis i know you just got your gallbladder taken out but damn you can walk you can sweep up after yourself you don't have to sleep your life away you can go outside and enjoy the sunshine. You can go for a walk. There's things you can do. We can we can find something to do on Thursdays together, but you want all you want to do is sleep. So it's very irritating to me. And I do still feel like my dog on the gardener is trying to take advantage of us as far as the money is concerned because he still has not came and cleaned his fucking gutters. I haven't cleaned these gutters. He has not cleaned these gutters. I paid him one hundred dollars to cut the limbs off of the roof plus I wanted the gutters to be cleaned around the house and I wanted him to take the post that I have to close in my garden I wanted him to dig trenches so the post could fit down in there instead of me I put some little pegs around to have them just standing up he have not come and did that and then also I talked to the gardener and he just he said that he was coming by either today or Saturday I told him I get paid tomorrow, so he I guess he's gonna come tomorrow, but he still haven't mentioned any of the things that he was supposed to do as far as cleaning out the dog on gutters. Look at all the bees, they're so pretty outside. I wish they would stay around there. I would turn the camera around so everybody could see the bees look so pretty outside. Cause my backyard is horrible. I will show you that. Look at that. That's bad. That's all. It needs to be cut. That's my backyard. Fucking trees. Every goddamn where I need to cut down. I have a whole half a fucking acre of a goddamn... What is this? Nothing but um, a forest in the backyard. The wind is blowing today. Anyway, so like I said, I'm in the room, the black room, <laughs> and so when I made up my bed today, I just made up this bed.
all right so this is my thought of the week the day YouTube please subscribe please like comment on my video I, I was gonna continue to do my review of basketball wives LA but just like everybody else is saying and I concur it is becoming so boring and mundane that I just really don't feel it anymore and I doubt I'll really be watching it and I do like Malaysia and I do like Malaysia I wish she would stop trying to be so nice and I still think that Jackie really needs to be committed because she's a crazy motherfucker she's just putting all this shit on her body this this gay um, rainbow she put on her body which she know she's just trying to play and fake the funk just so she can get some some pull I guess we all know whatever she's saying is probably a lie and she's just a liar I'm glad that Dre is coming around and she's speaking to the girl and explaining to her that it had nothing to do with her it was just that or I guess it's gonna be the next one it had nothing to do with her um, it's just that that's when she wanted to close that which I still don't think that Dre has the the um, the what do you call it she's not she's not big enough to say that she's not an iman to say that you know she needs to have a close set so you please like subscribe comment on my video and thank you guys for watching my channel I do appreciate appreciate everyone who watches my channel I do appreciate everyone who watches it watches my videos to the end of the videos I do appreciate people who comment I do appreciate people who tell people about my channel and I just say thank you so much for watching my Amaya's Grandma 2008. Bye-bye.